Well, hello, how are y'all doing today? Come on in, it's hot outside. Welcome to my crib. Now that you're inside, I wanted to show you um, my next project I'm working on. So I wanted to show you what the space looks like and the little bit of journey it took to make it look like it does right now. Let me show you. So this room up here, the room with no name, um, is my next project. So now that we're in this room, this is the room we'll be working on. Let me give you a quick story of how this all went down. Um, this color up top that you see, it looks white, but it's not. It's actually like a light, 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 light purple, just the tiniest hint of purple. And these are my stairs, so if you have children, you know, handprints up the wall. Also, furniture up and down multiple times and just wear and tear. The stairs were looking nasty. So I have worked so hard to find a color that matched. I know right now it looks totally different, but at the time, I thought it matched perfectly. And when I started painting my first brush stroke, it was a exact match. And I was like cheersing and high-fiving and yes, and hooping and hollering, go, yeah, yeah. And then it dried. And this is how it dried. I decide that this is going to be an opportunity to try something fun. And so, because I had already painted like a certain amount of height. So what I decided is I was just gonna do like wiggly squiggly lines, paint that down and just see how it looked. If I hated it, then I could whip out a ladder. If I loved it, then great, a fun feature in my house. So it starts there, goes up, around, and then up the stairs and it even goes all the way up to the second floor and then I kind of find a place to stop it. So I went out, I got a semi-gloss paint and I was just about to paint over it. And then I decided, let's try something different. Because why not? I might love it, I might hate it. So what I'm gonna do, what my next project um, is, I am going to do a second layer of drips same color but in a different sheen and high enough to where I can where most people like where all the dirt and grime is I can wipe it but it would almost be like a subtle layer 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 so that's what I'm going for I know some of y'all think I'm crazy and I am but this is the thing why not it's paint so let's try it and here's the fun thing, you don't have to do it in your house, but you can still come along with me and see how it turns out in mine. Before I finish, I wanna know. I want you to tell me your honest thoughts. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you like this? Do you think it's gonna be fabulous? Like, before it starts, what are you thinking? I'm excited to hear. So, I am going to change into some paint clothes. I am going to clear out this room, and let's get started. So my friend Bonnie B was asking me how I take like the history of our home, but then also like integrate my style into it. And honestly, I haven't figured it out other than paint is paint. Like I don't feel like I'm being inappropriate to the house when I'm painting the walls um, because I can just as easily go back and paint it whatever historically correct, accurate color Blank space, ready for creation. The other thing I would say is that I really have looked into times in history and places in history that interest me. So like the Baroque era, styling, um, even like old, you know, sexy women's uh, mistress type houses. Like, you know, that styling is really cool. So I like to incorporate a lot of that. Um, also some of these movies like The Queen's Gambit. Have you watched that show? So good. So I'm just doing the 
this wall and I'm trying to figure out where I want it to cut into right here. I think I'm gonna stop it here and then maybe just do a couple little swoops at the top. I don't know, we'll see what my hand does. <laughs> perspective right so it doesn't look jankety in the corner. So while I'm not good at answering your questions, I have some questions for you. First question, are we really showering like every day, every other day? Like, why? Like, is there science behind that? Like, I hate showers. Can somebody please agree with me? Do we hate showers? I hate showering. If I shower twice a week, it's a good week. Well, a bad week, because I hate showering. And something I'm learning about myself is that I work well when somebody tells me what to do. And I don't want to be like that. I want to tell my own dang self what to do. anything like this in your house anything crazy anything like I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens let me know and I want to see it what kind of sense of humor do you guys have like mine leans to the side of inappropriate which I think is why nobody thinks I'm funny I don't mean it to be inappropriate I just I feel like if you can laugh at awkward situations, it just makes everything better. You tell me something bad happened in your life and I'll try to make you laugh. Inappropriately. Do you ever wonder about trends? Like when you're in the middle of a trend, it doesn't feel trendy. You're like, oh, that's so timeless. Oh, it's so timeless. Gray is timeless. Well, now everybody hates gray. And yes, it'll come back, but it's not trendy anymore. And I do wonder, like I'm trying to do timeless things, but also I'm trying to think of what I want. Timeless for me, timeless for my style. This house, it's been redone many times, but sometime in the 70s it was redone because there were drop ceilings and blue shag carpet and all those great choices people made in the 70s. If you are a DIYer, are you a cutter inner or a roller? Or do you just hire it out? I hate rolling. That's my husband's job. I will do everything, all the cutting in, and I'm like, your turn. And he loves it because he can roll in like two seconds and feel accomplished, but I hate it. guys got my husband to roll for me now it's just time for last minute touch-ups let's do it are done it's a little more subtle than I was hoping for but I still think I love it I'm going for it we can always change it later so let's let everything dry decorate and I'll show you the final product <laughs> 